The more you're at home, the more you notice things like dirty floors, pet hair, tumbleweeds, and dusty surfaces. No surprise, more of us are shopping for vacuums. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada, and I recently got the chance to test out a new brand for me. The iLife H55 cordless stick vacuum arrived into my test kitchen for review. I'll tell you what it can do, what it can't do, what it works well on and what it doesn't, and if I think it's a good cordless vacuum for your home. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and do give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's get a closer look. The iLife H55 is a cordless rechargeable handheld stick vacuum. It's designed for cleaning small spaces at home or places like the car or RV thanks to a small cleaner head and a crevice tool for narrow spaces inside vehicles. iLife says the battery has a 40 minute runtime. There's a mid-sized 1.5 liter dust bin in the back that empties at the flip of a latch and you can wash the filters in the sink. You can usually get a few rounds of vacuuming in before you need to empty it depending of course on how big the mess is. The vacuum store is either on the wall with the bracket or you can actually hook the motor body onto the stick end and it'll stand on its own. A nice idea, my only complaint about that is that iLife doesn't tell you that or show you how to do it in the manual, so consider this our little secret. There is also nowhere to clip the extra brush tool, but maybe I'm nitpicking. <laughs> To use the H55, push the trigger once. The vacuum will run until you turn it off, which is a nice feature and means you don't need to keep constant pressure on the trigger. Unlike some vacuums, this one has only the barest of essentials when it comes to attachments, like I said. There's the key motorized swiveling floor head, which is made to vacuum hard floors and carpets. You also get an aluminum extension tube, a small crevice tool, an extra bristle roller brush, extra filter, plus a wall mounting bracket and cleaning tool. The iLife H55 has two power modes, regular and max. There is a small but noticeable noise level increase when you switch from one to the other using the button on top of the motor body. I wasn't really impressed with the suction power overall. When I was using the vacuum on carpets, I found I needed to go over areas multiple times to get all the debris. Worse for me was that the motorized brush head more often than not just pushed the debris out in front of it and often right off the rug and into a gap where the suction just didn't have the power to lift it. This is why stuff is getting pushed around. Rather surprisingly, the motorized floor head has no wheels and nothing to lift it off the flooring surface, which means it's actually terrible at taking on anything with an edge head on. I usually run vacuums that I review through a series of tests, things like picking up flour, crumbs, oatmeal, rice, cracker bits on both carpet and hard flooring. So naturally I put the iLife H55 through those same tests. On hard flooring, it was fine at bigger debris like oatmeal and cracker pieces. It was not good, however, at finer debris like sugar. It just pushed it out all across the floor and it took a couple passes to pick it all up. On carpet, it would just push the larger bits out ahead of the cleaning brush head and it was a struggle to collect them. Again, I was often using many passes to make sure I got everything. I decided to investigate why and to my surprise, I found there is virtually no suction coming from the base of the vacuum with the brush head running. Waving a small piece of paper in front of it and the motor isn't even strong enough to pull that in. This vacuum seems to be relying on the rotation of the brush to pull the dirt in, not on any kind of real suction power. I have to say I'm really surprised. With the motor head and the extender removed and the small crevice tool on there only, the H55's motor is still barely strong enough to hold the paper up to the mouth of the brush. Let's take a small diversion here into suction power, and this is important because the designated suction power will define the type of vacuum you're getting and what your expectations of it should be. But there are also other factors that contribute to how powerful and effective your vacuum is, things like wattage, airflow, and airspeed. Since iLife prints the suction pressure on the box, I'll focus on that. The rated suction on the H55 is just over 10 kilopascals, and I'd say typical power for a portable vacuum is about 20, so this is definitely on the weaker side. 
Doing some more research on this topic, I found that when it comes to suction power, anything close to 10 is meant mainly for light dust and dirt getting up to 16 or 18, and you're now able to lift up crumbs and small particles. Climb further up that scale into the 20s and you get better suction power overall, the type of vacuums that can lift coins, batteries, and more. So with all that in mind, this vacuum is technically performing as you should expect for the stated suction pressure. But for me, it's not strong enough for all of the things I'd want it to vacuum in my home. With all that said, this is an extremely low cost vacuum. So like the old saying goes, you are definitely getting what you pay for. Let's jump to the battery life and charging. You can see the battery life at a glance using the lighted bars on the motor. iLife says the H55 has a high capacity eight cell lithium ion battery that powers up to 40 minutes of vacuuming with strong consistent suction covering a space of up to 2100 square feet. Now using that, I should get about 13 minutes of battery life per visible bar. There's no digital minute display of how much runtime you have left, so you will want to mine the indicator. You can charge the vacuum in two ways. You can remove and charge only the battery pack or charge the whole vacuum itself. This vacuum is surprisingly a bit heavier than it looks. It weighs just over five pounds, and I wouldn't say it's well balanced or well weighted as it always wants to pull forward. It does lock upright, so you can lean the vacuum in a corner when you're finished with it, but unlocking it feels a bit like you're breaking it. This vacuum isn't overly noisy, but the motor does sound more like a giant cloud of bees than a powerful motor, and it only gets marginally louder in max mode. I'd rate the noise level as average. Overall, there are a few of okay qualities to this vacuum, but I'd say the cons far outweigh the pros. Rather than beat a dead horse, I'll just say that for me, a vacuum is all about suction power. And since the H55 has very low suction, it doesn't clean as thoroughly. And therefore, I don't believe it would be a good choice for my home. In my opinion, this vacuum is meant more as a duster or to pick up things like light pet hair and not as a typical vacuum that would power dirt out of your carpets. The H55 will be available on Amazon soon and should sell in the $120 US range. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I posted a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about this vacuum, either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and do give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can catch me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at Aaron L-Y-Y-C. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.